own boyfriend? That's who did this to you? No. Don't you cover for him because I will drag it's his ass in think. jail so quickly. Let's no, get No, Ryan. I can't do this to you. You can't do what to me? Madison, you're the one being hurt here. But I'm not. At least not the way you think. But there's people that can help you. No, I don't need help. Psychiatric help, maybe, but not for abuse. Madison, what are you talking about? Your face, what, what, what do you call that? who wants you to think that. David Hayward is. I am so sorry. What does Hayward want from me? And what? why would he use you to get it? David wanted me to distract you. Distract me? Romantically. He... He wanted you to get me to fall for you? He thought that if you were focused on someone else... That it would keep me away from Greenlee. Are you kidding me? How many times does the guy have to hear it? We're done. It's over. I told him that. He wouldn't listen. You have every right to hate me. No, I, don't, I don't hate you, Madison. I don't hate you. I just, I know... Hayward, and I know what he's capable of, and I know how how he gets people, especially women, to do things they wouldn't normally do, you know? But wait a minute, gotta have something on you. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mess with you just for fun, Ryan. Not after everything that you've done for me. Well, what is it? What is he blackmailing you with? I can't tell you that. Yes, you can. You can tell me. You can trust me. Okay, Madison, I will help you. I am not the only one involved. There are other people, good people. I have already heard them enough. I am so, so sorry. I know you are, and, and you've said that already. It doesn't feel like enough. I know you might not believe this, but it killed me to go along with David's plan. God, you've been beyond generous with me. All right, let's not go overboard here. I'm okay? not. Hey, you took me to the Miranda Center when I had nowhere to go. You gave me a job and advice and friendship. You offered me a place to live. It was you, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. You paid the back rent that I owed. Kept my landlord from hauling me to court. You needed a break, Madison. All I did, I just cut you on. That's it. <laughs> and how did I repay you? Hey. <sighs> You didn't go through with it, okay? You didn't. And that's what counts. What counts is that I'm an idiot. Should have known it wasn't David. Wait a minute. He told you he bailed you out? I assumed. But he went right along with it. Of course he did. Typical. I have to go. What do you mean you have to go? Where, where are you going? I, I don't know. I don't know. Anywhere but here. I just, I, I, I can't stay here. I have to leave town before no, no, David... No, no, don't let the, don't, don't, don't let the son of a bitch run you out of town, okay? Please. You don't understand. I do understand. I do. I know. You're scared. But you don't have to be. I, I can help you. Oh, it's, it's so much more than that. Okay, well then whoever you're protecting, I will protect them. I can't. Look, wherever you hide, Madison, wherever you hide, there, there's nowhere that David Hayward can't find you, okay? You've got one option right now, one. And it's to stay here and to fight. And I'm telling you right now that I'm gonna fight with you, okay? But you gotta tell me what you did. I killed
killed my husband. I saw Randy leaving Henry's hotel room. And when I went in there, for a second it looked like she had killed him. Later I found out the truth, which was that he had attacked her and she hit him in self-defense. When he saw me, he asked for help. It wasn't really asking, it was more like begging. But when I thought of all the times that I had begged him to stop, begged him not to send me back to my father, begged him to keep his hands off me, I didn't help him, Ryan. I hit him. And then what happened? And then I sat back and waited for Randy to take the fall. But Randy was never accused of killing your husband. No. No, it never went that far, thank God. Randy's family got involved. It's a long story. But the Hubbards didn't do anything wrong. And if David keeps nosing around this, he's gonna figure out that they were involved. Yeah, he will. And he's already got it out for Angie and Jesse. I mean, finding dirt on them would be like a dream come true for the guy. Which is why I have to get lost. But David will forget about me eventually. Okay, that's where you're wrong. I know, I know once I go, David's gonna try to find some other way to get at you, but it won't matter because you'll already know what he's up to. Madison. Do you trust me? Yeah. You don't have to leave town. Because David is not going to use you anymore. I won't let him leave. Uh. What are you doing here? Did anyone see you? Don't know. And I really don't care. You don't care? Oh, you'll care when I tell the world your dirty little secret. I'm out, David. What do you mean, you're out? You know exactly what I mean. Find someone else, because I'm not going through with it. <sighs> you know, that's pretty funny. You make it sound like you actually have a choice. As a matter of fact, she does. I don't know what she's been telling you. But you gotta know the woman is a pathological liar. You know, I've been going over it in my head, and for the life of me, I can't figure out what's more pathetic. That you thought Madison could be blackmailed into seducing me, or that you had to come up with this plan to begin mm. with. What's happening? A little, uh, little trouble in paradise? No, anyway. no. Actually, everything is great between me and Greenlee. It's you that's the annoyance. Uh -huh. Boy, <laughs> you've been pretty busy, huh? Well, I guess that's to be expected. I mean, anything to keep the sword of truth from coming out, right? He knows. Yes, he does. So you can table the threats. Madison told me everything. So you know that you're defending a cold-blooded killer. I'm defending another one of your victims, Hayward. I mean, you, you would do this. You would pimp her out. For what? Why, Ex exactly, just to kind of keep me occupied? Well, Is anything to keep you out of my wife's hair for good? Greenlee doesn't need me out of her okay, hair, what we're a bunch done. of garbage, okay? Every time I turn around, you're there. Her escort, her friend, her sympathetic shoulder. I know you've been telling everybody you let her go, but your grip has never been tighter. Let me tell you something, you can forget it. <laughs> 